Hey, I'm Katie with Following the Funks and I want to share with you this week about one of my favorite hobbies. While this video might not be for everyone, it is something that I love and so I thought I would share something that I love with you. One of my favorite hobbies that I enjoy doing is cross stitching. <laughs> I know, it sounds like an old person hobby, um, but it's not. So let me explain really fast what cross stitch even is. Um, cross stitch is a design using stitches to make a cross into a, a larger pattern or design. In the fabric you can see that there are woven threads uh, and then there are little tiny holes and you use these tiny holes to create these stitches either in a cross stitch, so making an X, or like a one-fourth stitch, a one-eighth stitch, um, and there's several other stitches you can do, use as well. Cross stitching can be as simple or as elaborate as you want it to be. There's actually um, some confusion between cross stitching and hand embroidery. Hand embroidery or embroidery of any kind is usually on any type of fabric, but there's a little bit more free design to it. You can mix embroidery and cross stitching together while hand embroidery ends up being a more 3D type of design. I actually have two videos in this series, and the first one's gonna be about one of my latest projects with cross stitching. The second will be about hand embroidery. So in the second video, I'll talk a little bit more about hand embroidery. There's a couple reasons I love cross stitching. Um, one, uh, it's something that I can do and produce with my hands. <laughs> um, it sounds so simple, but it's something that's really rewarding to me. Two, is usually it comes with a design, um, and with that design, um, it's very, very straightforward on this is how you cross stitch it and these are the colors that you use. Three, it's something that I can use as a gift for others. Um, I started learning cross stitch when I was really young. My mom picked up a kit before we went camping when we were little. I spent that week learning how to cross stitch using this kit. And I, I mean, I loved that kind of stuff when I was little. I loved arts and crafts, I liked painting. Um, my dad's mom was an artist. And so there's, I just really enjoy, enjoyed producing art with my hands. After college, I moved overseas and um, there were just times where I found myself at home wanting to do something but needing a break from being in another culture, from watching TV, from reading. I needed to do something with my hands. And so remembering cross stitching, I pulled it back out. So I decided, okay, I'm going to pick up this hobby again. Um, and one of my first projects that I decided to do was um, a cross stitch for my niece. So I wanted to design something special that she would have throughout her life. Um, again, over the last 10 to 12 years, um, I've done lots of different things. I've done simple things, I've done some more complex things, I've done projects for myself, I've done projects for other people. Um, and yeah, what I love about it is that every time I get through, uh, I just have a really I just have a really satisfied feeling of, okay, this is something that my hands created and designed, and while it might not stay with me, it might be good for someone else, like, um, I can see the love that went into it, other people can see the love that went into it as well. So the most recent cross stitch that I have completed um, was not actually done from uh, any type of design. It's the first time that I've done a project from creation of the design all the way to completion, and it's something that I'm actually really proud of. I had been following this gal, Lizzie, who does Stitch People. Stitch People are just mini designs of your family. So the first part is that I designed my own Stitch People family using a photo from our family portraits and I created an outline of my family. Lizzie has a book called Stitch People. She helps you think through how to design these people. Using the design, I started cross-stitching uh, our family. Um, I started with the bodies and then I completed each person's hair last and then also did some of the detailing. With this cross stitch design, it's actually the first time I've incorporated a little bit of hand embroidery to give it a little bit more 3D effect and some more realistic uh, vibes, I guess, <laughs> to it. So for Sophia's hair, you'll notice I used little French knots to give it the illusion of having curls. For Jason's hair, I only used cross stitching, but for my hair, I chose to use a free stitch design. So instead of using any type of cross stitching, I just used an outline and then I filled in the spaces with um, with longer free stitches to give it that look, that like little 3D effect. And then lastly, I topped off the family portrait with, of course, our family name, the Funk family, and then the year that I did it. After I finished my project, I ironed it, and then I put it into a hoop frame. I'm so happy with how this project turned out. I'm excited for this to be in our home and be one of our heirloom pieces that hopefully will get passed down. Eventually, I will have a part two in the series about hand embroidery and my newest project that I am working on. Um, I don't know when that video will come, so I don't know if it, if it is next week's video or if it will be a video 
down the line since it's a project I am currently working on. Um, but I hope you will stay tuned in for future videos and I will see you next week.